Hey, what's going on guys? So today I'm gonna to show you how to do a quick animated outline in both Adobe Premiere and Final Cut Pro, just like the one going around this shelf right now. So here we go. All right, so all you're gonna need for this is either Premiere or Final Cut Pro or any other video editing software that does animated masks. That's how we're gonna pull this off. And the only other thing you'll need is a uh, photo editing software like uh, GIMP, that's what we'll be using, or Photoshop. If you don't know what GIMP is, I'll put a link in the description. You can check it out. It's a fantastic uh, photo editing application. It's similar to Photoshop, but just not quite as feature rich, but it's completely free. So let's get right into Premiere. All right, guys, here we are in a Premiere. And before we start, I got to apologize. This might blow some people's minds because I'm going to be editing the clip that you just watched. So I'm going to be editing in this video, the clip that you just watched in this video. So we got some Inception stuff going on here. So I apologize if it blows anybody's minds. So in Premiere, I got the clip loaded in here. I got my project created and I'm kind of queuing it up to the spot that I want to pick to start the animation. So, all right, so right about there is where I want to start the animation. And I'm gonna draw it around this shelf. So what we want to do is we want to export this frame. And in Premiere, it's real easy. You just click this export frame button. So we're going to do that and I am going to um, just put it in my folder here and I'm not going to do a bitmap, I'm going to do a, uh, a PNG just for a little bit better quality. So I'm going to go OK. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out to that folder and I'm just going to open this in GIMP. GIMP just takes a few seconds to load up here. All right, guys, so here we are in GIMP, and this is not going to be a GIMP tutorial. This is just going to show you how to draw these boxes. And GIMP is a photo editing application uh, similar to Photoshop, so it's not really designed to draw in it. So basically, we're going to be drawing with um, some, some of the other options in here. So really, to make a selection in GIMP, you can do a box, you can do a circle, or you can do this lasso, which is kind of a free form. And that's what we're gonna do in this case. So we're gonna pick the lasso, and I wanna draw a box around this thing hanging on my wall. So I'm just gonna start drawing the outline around this. It's gonna be super rough. Nothing too special here, just for the purposes of this tutorial. If I was gonna do this uh, you know, a little more seriously, I'd take a little more time. Okay, so we have that outline. So what we wanna do, uh, I'm sorry, we have the selection, but and we want to turn that into an outline. So one thing we need to think of is what color we want that outline to be, because when we do this next function, it's going to use whatever color we have as our primary color here. So I'm going to do yellow, um, just because I normally do yellow, and it's going to stand out pretty well for the this tutorial. So let's go ahead and select that. And then with this selected, what we want to do is create a new layer and we're gonna do a transparency layer. So we're gonna do that, and then we're up in the layers here, we're gonna make sure that's selected, and then make sure our um, selection here is still selected, and then we're gonna go into Edit, Stroke Selection, and then these are some options that are gonna tell us what the uh, stroke, what the line is gonna look like. So right now it's just gonna be a solid color, that's kinda of what I want for this. Any aliasing is gonna make it a little smoother. The line width, uh, six pixels, that's, that's pretty good. Um, you can also select a uh, tool and fill it with one of these other tools, but we're just gonna do a basic line uh, with any aliasing and six pixels. So as soon as we hit stroke, Boom, it draws that outline around there. And then if we do a uh, select none so we can see it a little better, now we can see that that's outlined. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide this and we see that that leaves us with just the outline. So I'm gonna go ahead and export this and I'm gonna export it as a PNG because that'll save the uh, transparency and everything. We can load that directly into Premiere. So let's just do, um, Let's just call this outline.png. And I'm just gonna leave the defaults, export that out. And now let's jump back into Premiere. All right guys, so here we are back in Premiere. So let's go ahead and jump out to the folder where we saved that outline.png, it's right here. I'm gonna drag it into my project. So now we can see it's part of the project. So now we wanna go and find the place that we're gonna put it in. So let me just queue this up real quick. I'm going around this shelf right now. Okay, so when I start saying that it's going around that shelf right there, I want to start it right there. So 
we could just drag it in and start the animation right here but for sanity's sake i'm going to go ahead and make a cut right here using the razor tool so you can click here or press c and i'm going to do a cut just so i know where that animation is going to start it doesn't affect anything else so then we're going to drag this overlay or the outline over that uh, video onto another track and you can see that the outline is there now so if we go back a few frames and then play you can see it just pops in, but we don't want that. We want to animate it in. So what we're going to do is make sure that this um, track is selected. So that's the track that the outline is on. It's important for this next part that that's selected. So we want to go to the first frame where that cut is, and we're going to go into the effects controls, which we are right now. And then we're going to go to this opacity area. So the opacity is what sets the masks. In this case, there's several types of masks in Premiere. This is just one, uh, the most basic kind. And since this is basically a, a square shape and we want it to, we want it to kind of come in evenly. So we want to come, have it come straight up and fade straight in. We're going to once again, make sure that the correct track is selected and then go ahead and select the square. So as you can notice, as soon as we put that mask on, that outline disappeared. But if we move this mask, it's like a magic window. There's the outline again, right? So we're gonna position it underneath the, um, that shelf with using the entire width. And we want it to kind of fade in starting at this point. So we need to animate this. And the thing that tracks the animation for these masks is the mask path. So what we want to do is we want to click this little um, animation icon here and set a keyframe right there. So then we're going to go to where we want the animation to stop. So basically when I start stop talking, that's when I want the animation to stop, meaning the outline is going to be fully visible for the shelf. So I'm going to click here and then click the mask again and we are at the correct frame. So now when we move this, because we set a keyframe on that first frame, when we move it again, it's going to set another keyframe for the new position. So we'll just move that up and make sure this thing is fully in view. And now the cool thing about keyframing is Premiere will automatically fill everything in, in between there. So if we go back, Look at that, we can see it start to fade in and out. So now if we play, just like the one going around the shelf right now. So here we go. You can see that kind of animates in and that's a real basic animation. You can set it a little faster, a little slower. If we wanted to move this keyframe back and have this finish up a little sooner so it fades in a little quicker, we can do that. So now let's take a look at it. So it comes in a little faster. When we're in GIMP, we can make uh, that, that pixel setting for the thickness of the outline. You can make that a little thicker, so you can make it like eight pixels and make that a thicker line. So that's really all there is to it for a real basic outline fade in. For things that are moving, it's a little more difficult. You'll have to do some tracking with that and you'll probably do it a lot easier with something like After Effects. But for just a static outline like this, it works really well to do it this way. So I'm gonna jump into Final Cut Pro um, and show you how that's done there. The concepts are exactly the same, just obviously the application's a little different. So if you don't care about Final Cut Pro, this is where the, the video ends and I hope you guys found it useful. If you do care about Final Cut Pro, stick around and I'm gonna jump right into there next. Okay, so here we are in Final Cut Pro and to export this from Final Cut Pro, we're going to do the same, very similar thing we did in Premiere. We're going to go and we're going to find the frame that we want to export. So let's say it's this one. And we're going to go up to the share icon here and share a the current frame. Now, when you initially do this, this save current frame is not going to be in there. So all you need to do is go to add destination and double click on save current frame. And then that'll add it into your list of available destinations. And from that point on, you just hit the share save current frame and then you can choose your format you can either leave it as a tiff or do a png again or any of those other formats and then uh, when you hit next you can choose your location and your file name just typical you know saving a file so i won't go into that again and then once you have that saved out 
out, you bring it into GIMP, just like we did with Premiere. And if you skipped over the Premiere part, I'll have a link in the description that you can jump right to the, the portion of the editing that we did in GIMP. So you don't have to, uh, so I don't have to do that again. You can just jump back to that and then continue watching this. But after the GIMP work is done, we do the exact same thing that we did in Premiere and just go out to the folder where you have the outline.png saved, drag that into your project. And then at the spot that you want to put this in, again, you don't have to do this, but my workflow is that I normally do a cut right there. So in Final Cut Pro, the razor tool is uh, the B key. So we're going to go and cut that. And then I'm going to drag this right on top. And then if we just play, it just pops right in right now. But again, we want to animate that in. So we're gonna go down into the effects area. And if this is not open, it's just this little key right here that pops open your effects. And let's just search for a mask. And I'm just gonna drag in a draw mask. I'm gonna drag it in right on top of that, that um, outline that I have. Okay, so after that mask is done, we're going to go ahead and uh, make sure we select the clip. And then we're going to just draw a mask around this. And this time, this is a little bit different than Premiere because we're going to draw this mask. And I want to make sure that it fully encompasses the thing that we're trying to animate in. So we have that mask in the the outline is still visible and that's because the mask is over the outline. So if we go ahead and change the position of this mask and we just wanna move it straight down, which is the Y axis. So we're gonna come over here if this is not expanded. We'll make sure we're in the video inspector, make sure we're on draw mask and then open this transform and then make sure the correct layer is selected here. So we want the, the outline layer. And then we're just gonna move this down. So I'm gonna click in here Kind of move it down a little bit. So that's the first frame and we don't want the outline visible yet on the first frame. So what we'll do here is we'll set a keyframe because we're gonna animate this and then we're gonna to move to the end where we want our animation to stop. And then we're gonna come back into the Y coordinates here and just move that up so that the whole thing is visible. And now if we play it, Final Cut should have filled in everything between those two keyframes and we can see that the outline animated in. So that's it guys, this is just one way to go about it. This is a real simple way to draw a quick outline around something that draws your eye to it when you're talking about a specific item in your video or you just wanna draw attention to something. Again, the process is really simple for both Adobe Premiere and Final Cut Pro for drawing these animated outlines and using GIMP uh, free software. You can also use Photoshop. And again, this isn't just Premiere and Final Cut Pro. This will work for any video editor that allows you to animate masks like that. So hopefully you guys found this useful and informative. If you have uh, suggestions on other ways to do this, please go ahead and leave those in the comments and let me know if you wanna see any of these other kinds of tutorials. Please hit the, uh, the rate and give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And if you do subscribe, hit the little bell next to the subscription button. It'll let you, uh, it'll notify you when I put up more videos. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you next time.